the truth is there's a lot of commonality among engineering programs and for good reason there's certain skills that engineers need to have before they go into the workforce or to go to graduate school we had the luxury of starting from a blank screen and really designing an engineering program around the 21st century engineer 90 percent of all scientists that have ever been alive are alive today and that kind of gives you an idea how fast technology is moving. So when engineering students first come here, they should have the mindset to be successful. And usually it takes curiosity, motivation, and persistence. The engineering programs are situated within the College of Arts and Sciences. That's not typical. If you look across most institutions, there'll be a standalone uh, college or school of, of technology or a school of engineering. And uh, it's more than symbolism. It's the, the, the fact that the, the curriculum has very strong integration with uh, the traditional liberal arts. The curriculum is going to be fundamentally different than most engineering programs. We're going to do mostly combined lecture labs where perhaps after a very short lecture the students are going to actually work on devices right in front of them. We're going to have miniature production lines so that they understand how robots work and, and how to operate programmable controllers and things like that. So I think the ideal engineer is the ideal North Central student uh, who happens to have engineering skills and so we want people who are ethical, who have intellectual curiosity, who are purposeful in their life mission and, and, and want to make a, a difference in the world. They need to be able to communicate ideas to a, a diverse audience and they should always be looking to challenge things and innovate so that they create some value in whatever 